Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the South Node in Pisces in a natal horoscope. As most of you know, the South Node is connected with what we may have overemphasized or accentuated very strongly, generally in the first part of our lives up until about the age of 30. And I consider this kind of a redundant point in a horoscope and it's something that it's kind of like a been there done that kind of monotonous thing after a while and when a person hits about age 30 they often feel compelled to go to their north node calling which is connected with their mission or their soul's purpose well anyway let me get started I think first thing when I look at this uh, placement for the south node in Pisces it could show somebody that's kind of, um, maybe it, it could show somewhat a uh, person that's somewhat nebulous in terms of maybe their life, somebody that might have gotten complacent on the real, uh, in the, on the real negative side, perhaps even lackadaisical. This could be a person that might have kind of gotten in a, in a dreamy kind of state and, and felt maybe that things were just going to automatically come to him or her uh, as far as anything connected with dreams or ideals and the person has to remember that these things uh, need to be worked uh, you know, on. It's not something that's just going to be like kind of a snap of the fingers and just automatically come to him or her. This could be a person that may have uh, perhaps drawn some negative people into their lives, mainly um, maybe even people that were connected with, with drugs. Or, or alcohol and it might have been to this person's detriment. This person may have emphasized uh, so strongly the art of self-sacrificing and being philanthropic and charitable that he or she may have neglected uh, his or her own needs and been oblivious to what they, they needed to do for themselves. So basically the calling is for the people that have the South Node in Pisces is to kind of um, take stock uh, of themselves, kind of an analyze things a little bit more and see the fine details, whether it's in, in people and evaluating the right people in his or her life, and being able to do something as far as um, doing something as far as their, their work goes, being more systematic, being more organized. Person doesn't have to be a perfectionist, but it's about trying to get away from the, the maybe perhaps the disorganized part of Pisces and, and finding the organization that is connected with Virgo in his or her life, and being able to uh, perhaps um, integrate uh, some of the Pisces South Node into the, the into the North Node in Virgo. Now these people may look for something that might um, be some kind of career or might be aspiration that's connected uh, perhaps with analysis but will incorporate the Pisces compassion such as perhaps working as like a doctor, a physician, a nurse, uh, any healing profession, uh, even working as a, a dental um, in, in the dental uh, field because uh, you know, you're, you're combining compassion and you have to do some analysis and finding out uh, what's wrong with this person as far as the, in that example, the dental problem would go. So this is something where the person may find a field where they are punctilious with details but can incorporate or inject the philanthropic side of Pisces uh, in the process. So. This could be uh, something where this person just really needs uh, to learn that they have to really take stock of his or herself and not get into that complacent dreamlike stage or, or just feel that things are just going to, to happen because in order to make things happen one has to execute, I don't mean kill execute, I mean has to do something to uh, as far as action goes has to do something to make uh, things, these things happen in his or her life and there might be uh, a strong uh, possibility that maybe uh, when we look at this uh, placement with the, the south node in Pisces that uh, this person uh, brought uh, a lot of I guess you could say their, their compassion and 
into the lives um, of other people, which is not necessarily bad, but it's about finding out, um, putting the, that compassion into others' lives, into the right uh, people, because there's no, you can only help so many people, and obviously some people don't want to be helped, and you have to be able to discern and recognize those people, the ones that do um, want want the help and are willing to take the, these steps in order to, to help themselves, then those people obviously you can help, but if you try to help certain people and they just um, they just keep reverting back to their own ways, then obviously uh, there's really might not be that much uh, that you can uh, do for them. So it's about, it's not necessarily eradicating any compassionate feeling, but it's about knowing the people that you can help and not the ones that are going to be necessarily deceptive or just um, or just act like they're going to um, receive receive the help and help themselves just so they can maybe get something uh, from you. So I think that's one important um, thing to remember as far as the South Node in Pisces goes. Just have being cognizant of those people that are going to be um, that are going to be willing to help themselves as far as the ones you select to help. But Anyway, uh, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the South Node in Pisces and the Natal Horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the South Node in the First House and the Natal Chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.